Hello viewers, welcome to our news today. This is your friend and host, Sri Bage Kamsi. Aditi Devo Bhava. Yes, friend, uh, you heard right. Uh, with me, uh, a friend of mine from all, uh, who has come all the way from Maharashtra till Arunachal uh, by bicycle only. So he is none other than uh, Mr. Vishal Takare. Vishal ji, welcome to Alan News today. Thank you. And welcome to Arunachal Pradesh. Thank you. Also. So without making merry go round, we'll come to the point directly. So firstly, uh, since you have come all the way from Maharashtra, and till now you have covered 17 states, and there are lots, many, uh, lots of states to be covered now. So in social media, many people think that uh, simply uh, these bloggers, I, although you are not a blogger, many people think that simply they are wasting their time and they are doing unwanted jobs and all so there is some negative thoughts on some people's also so without wasting our time i we just want to know that uh, what is your purpose behind this tour first at all thank you so much for having me over so yes, you asked the question, which is actually the reason behind starting my journey. Then I would love to like state everything started first mentally and then it capitalized into my tour. It was 2019 and I was working on a book that I was writing by myself. Okay. And when I was writing down my book, plenty of questions were coming in my mind. And all those questions were about myself. Okay. So in case I want to write down something first, I need to see what is inside me. And when I started going inside me, I came to know there is everything in me, but there is no me. Okay. Whatever right and wrong that I am seeing in the world is not my own experience or it is not the conclusion of my own experience that what is right or what is wrong. It's like a borrowed truth that I have been getting since my childhood. Okay. At the same time, I saw like the beliefs that I am carrying is not also the conclusion of my own experience. All the beliefs that I am carrying, these are also borrowed uh, or I can say I am conditioned with all those beliefs. So it was like the way I was seeing the life was not the life from my view. It is actually a lens which I am given by my society, by my teachers or the way I grew up in that uh, particular atmosphere. And when I came to know that there is no me in me, then it was a question in front of me that what exactly I have been doing till now? Mm -hmm. What exactly I want to do in my life? So when I was seeing the, myself in a new paradigm, I came to know whatever I have been doing today or whatever I want to do tomorrow is actually not which is coming from my heart. It is something, the software which is installed in my mind. If I do it, then only I am a right person. If I don't do it, then I am a wrong person. And that's how I got this inspiration that we shall know this is not you, what you are thinking about yourself. Probably you are a different person. And that time I was getting into the depression. Mm -hmm. And when I was in depression, I started researching over depression and I came to know India is the sixth most depressed country in the whole world. Oh, wow. Can you name them? It's, it's the sixth most depressed oh, okay, country. Okay, so our in country. The, yeah, okay. India. That's fine, yeah. And in 2019, most suicides happened only and only in our India. Okay. So when I saw that uh, thing, uh, somewhere I had that intuition, it may be my future also. So I had two options that that time I was victim of insomnia as well. Either live my life in the same way uh, by being a medium to fulfill the expectations of the society or else give birth to myself by myself or press the restart button of living life. Okay. Then I press the second a button it was a second option and i decided to leave my place and search for the life because the life that i was seeing was from someone else's eye but now that was the time that i wanted to see the life from my eye from my experience and from my own realization and as you said uh, about the blogging and blogging as well uh, the this kind of stuff so i feel traveling is is a beautiful experience of spiritual life i can say in our India, we we belong to the land where Buddha, he had everything in his life, everything. But he left his home and he was traveling in search of himself. Not only Buddha, this is a land of plenty of sadhus, sant, rishi, munis, yogis. 
those people also used not to carry anything with them and they just used to travel in search of themselves don't know where they where they are going they also don't know where they are traveling okay. but their travel was actually a spiritual enlightenment or spiritual experience in themselves okay. so i believe on the same thing and that's how i can say uh, i cannot compare myself with any one of those higher uh, spirits but yes i am also in search of the same thing okay basically i have already pre assumed that somewhere or other uh, you are doing some kind of spiritual warfare i mean we now whatever you have said you are not talking about this physical world uh, something like uh, something like is in is uh, spiritual realm whatever the thing is going it directly happens i mean happened with our uh, this one physical world no so that's fine we have uh, got the clue and uh, we'll come we'll come to positive side later mm -hmm. on but uh, let's do some negative uh, i mean comments on negative side i i just want to know whether uh, you have have you ever uh, faced any kind of racial discrimination in our state uh, or any kind of rejection if yes then how 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 did you deal it if no then what was your i mean uh, this one journey it's all about the welcoming journey so i we just want to know uh so when it comes to uh, the question that you asked me usually till now it's been like today this is a uh, 1300 and 8 day of my journey that i left okay, my okay. home okay sorry for interruption when did you start your journey i started my journey on 13 june 2020 2020 yes yeah okay okay so it's been almost three and half year and ah. in this entire three and half year mm. i can say that i did not face exactly a specific a kind of racism uh, And do you uh, remember any kind of rejection in your initial stage uh, with the rejection uh, okay with that term of rejection uh, there are two uh, things which People, had happened they have wrong notion that uh, they are, you are roaming you are just simply wasting your time and this kind of thing i'm talking about yeah this kind of thing happened a, a lot uh, with me uh, many times it happens that people see me that i am cycling on the way yes. and they just stop me they aren't aware of your purpose yeah. the main thing yeah the first thing that they ask me like what is your name and all okay and where from you are coming yeah. and their second question is aapke paas bahut paisa hai kya aap aise travel kar rahe ho so this is actually a very different way to look after the world and those people are right by their side probably the way they have experienced the life is something different they may be feeling the money is the only source that we can travel or do the xyz kind of things mm. but i do feel traveling is a thing that the person with the zero money can ca travel across the world mm. and the person with 1 billion of rupees cannot travel anywhere that's true because traveling is not about money it's of the it's about the humanity and about the purity and the love that we carry the travelers carry in themselves that's true so and when it comes to the rejection i can say uh it may be little controversial but the more person is intellectual mm. the racism starts i never face the kind of rejection or racism when i am speaking with the roadside uh, vendors or the farmers mm -hmm. or the small uh, shopkeeper but the moment i i am like dealing with a kind of a well a literated person that people say well it means if you have uh, so many degrees mm -hmm. or uh, your education qualifications are high means that guy becomes a kind of very highlight okay. but i can say the more calculations the person carries it starts like differentiating the thing and the more down the person is he sees the world like a very in a beautiful way okay thank you so much uh, uh, vishal ji this is uh, i'm thinking quite personal mm -hmm. uh, if you don't mind i i just want to know that uh, how do you uh, so far now how do you manage your finance is there some individuals or is there some organization who is you know taking the sponsorship mm -hmm. of your tour Mm -hmm. so how how do you manage so as i said uh, before that uh, we belong to the land where sadhu sant and buddha and mahavira has been through yeah. so i started my journey with 10000 rupees on 13 june 2020 and on the 13th day of my journey i spent my that day with a person called santosh santosh garji he runs a very beautiful orphanage in maharashtra itself and when i was staying in his orphanage 3 days i spent uh, with that guy so 
when we were having the conversation he just spoke something which actually resonated deeply in my heart he said vishal you are searching for a life now then let me tell you until and unless you go through the utter darkness of your life you won't be able to know what may be the light or life is okay. so those words were actually holding me very deeply that i decided to donate my all the wealth whatever money that i have that i donated to his orphanage and from that day to today i don't have even a single rupees of my own okay so after donating money the journey was not like soft because that was the main turning point in my journey okay that time after donating the money when i started continuing journey the mainly thing what i will need now my food my food is my fuel okay so when i went to ask for the food to the people it was not such easy task and i am this i am that that ego ego was also echoing yes. in me that i am this and i am asking for the food or i am begging for the food this kind of uh, feelings i used to get and i used not to ask for the food so one day passed two day passed and i did not ask for the food then on the third day it happened like my hunger were bringing tears in my eyes and i saw myself in a do or die kind of situation okay. if ask food or you may have to lose your life and that time i decided okay no matter what people will say and uh, on my third day like i did not have anything in my stomach and that was a time that my hunger started rolling down my tears and i decided no so matter till now jesus you have been riding bicycle only yes yes i wow. was riding the bicycle so i went and i asked for the food to the people first time in my life mm. and that time my life got changed i can say i learned a new way or I, as i said no my own experience to look after the life that i two two three things i learned on that day that it's not that people don't want to help me out the problem is that i was not giving them access to help me okay, out okay okay it always it, we don't yes we are taught like always be like that be like that mm. but sometimes being like this also is very beautiful sometimes we don't need to be the replicate stone in us sometimes we need to be like a water mm. to just flow with it and the second thing which i learned on that day that no matter where we go in the world no matter where we go it may be the smallest village or the largest city there will be at least one person when you will become like a water he would love to do something for you and everyone is thirsty for the love everyone wants love okay. so that time when i accepted myself uh, i uh, the way i am like i don't have anything yes i am as same as like asking bhiksha or i am begging for the food when i accepted myself my journey became much more beautiful because people were not only offering me the food they also used to give me the parcel that if i feel hungry then i can have something along oh, the way wow. even today in the morning uh, i was uh, staying in the hotel alo i was hosted by one of the bike rider karik okay. and when i left the manager of that hotel he offered me free of course breakfast actually someone else uh, there was a couple from tespur they offered me a breakfast okay. and when they wanted to pay bill of my food that manager did not accept from them on the top of that that manager gave me a bottle of juice that if i feel hungry along the way i can have it thank you very much uh, brother you know slightly uh, just a minute yeah mm-hmm. okay lastly brother uh, at the beginning of our conversation uh, something very important you have uh throw light on that thing you see in this 21st century and after the advent of uh, this artificial intelligence after the advent of uh, the social media many people many people they are suffering from loneliness suffering from depressions they just want to be alone they just to be and uh, be by themselves they just want to explore they they just want to they uh they just want to go wherever they want to so that some i mean uh, some insights they can from their own but the thing is that our society is now our society is not like that they will accept this this kind of tour and all so there might be so many youngsters who wa- who want to do who want to pursue this kind of uh, passion who want to do this kind of tour so you know by sidelining all those negative thoughts what message 
would you like to give uh, to those section of people who want to explore their life, own their life, who want to know the real meaning of their own life? So what would be by, uh, you know, from your experience, what would be the message you want to give them all? So first of all, I would love to say that depression is not a something like a poison i feel in my life today the most the, if there is anything that i am really grateful for is for my depression depression came with the blessing for me if i would not have been depressed by that time then probably i would not have chosen this way of living my life and today my life is completely changed i can see the person before three and a half year and who is today there is plenty of difference. There is a vast difference. And second thing, each and everyone in his life or in her life is going to be depressed for sure. One day, everyone is Once going to in be in the time. depression. Yes, exactly. So that depression is not coming actually in your life to break you. Actually, life wants to hug you. That's why life is giving you a little realization that no, this is not the way that you are living your life. Probably you have chosen a different way. Life wants to teach you some lesson. Life wants you to spread your wings. Life wants to hug you. Okay. But probably we have never given access to the life to hug us in that way or come to us in that way. And that's why we are into the depression. For example, uh, the very common reason that as of now people are getting depressed like... Uh, as you uh, spoke about loneliness and aloneness. Mm. So people feel lonely. Why? Because they feel that the emptiness in them is like a kind of uh, a small poison. Like slowly, slowly, slowly they are feeling to kill themselves or they are trying to isolate themselves from friends, from the society. Because they are not finding their fulfillment by being with those people or by being with the family or by being with their relatives or their relations. So they just want to separate them from them and try, and try to be a lonely. So lonely, being lonely and being alone, both are the different things. Okay. We become lonely when we our happiness is dependent on someone else. Okay. But we become alone when our happiness is not dependent on anyone else. Okay. And this is the existential truth of life. And second thing that you spoke about the exploration. So I feel exploration has the two things. One is exploring the outer world and another thing is exploring the inner world. And I feel traveling, for me, traveling is not only covering distance from one destination to another. It's actually covering the distance from mind to the heart. So inner world, you are basically speaking the spiritual realm. Exactly. I'm speaking about the spiritual realm and I feel like in this century, the 20th, in uh, this special 21st century, everyone is in need of that anecdote or that dose of the spirituality. Okay. Spirituality doesn't mean that we are only chanting and X, Y, Z. Okay. Spirituality is simply mean the journey that you are doing to know yourself, to recognize yourself and beyond all the beliefs and identities. I would love to conclude with the answer of your question that one day everyone is, oh, I mean, not everyone, I can say the people who are into depression and concluding that one day whenever people are going to be depressed, some of them are going to feel that they want to pull, put a full stop on their life. They want to commit suicide. And if that thought comes, then let me tell you two things. First thing, that if you feel like to commit suicide, then do suicide, but suicide of your thought, not wow. of your body. Wow, very nice. And the second thing that I would love to say, the courage that you need to commit suicide, the same courage can transform your entire life. Wow. That's a very nice word. Indeed, a golden word. Thank so you. thank you very much, uh, Brother Vishal. So, uh, dear viewers, uh, let me tell you one thing. So, Mr. Vishalji, uh, from tomorrow onward, he'll be leaving towards uh, Mechuka. So if there is any friend, any viewers who is watching our conversation from Mechuka, do kindly let us know and kindly uh, post my friend, our friend. Thank you. As I have said earlier that Atiti Deva Baba, he is our guest in our state. Misal, Bisal, Thakarere, Thakare, Thakare. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching our news today. God bless you all. Happy New Year. And finally, my friend Vishal, 
we just want to uh, give thank uh, thank you note to some of his friends kindly so i am really thankful to first at all abc club Ar arunachal bullet club that since the time i entered in arunachal they are in my contact brother teche brother tanung who are just uh, give, uh, connecting me with the different bike riders and they are hosting me and Hirendra Kashyap as well, my very good friend from uh, nearby Tamang. And then also Tani Rider, now I'm in a Tani belt only and they are also assisting me a lot. So thank you so much Tani Riders. At the same time, uh, the resort where I am, the island resort, they are hosting me uh, since uh, today's morning. For that also I'm really thankful, 30 degree Northeast Rider. Thank you so much also and sir to you also for giving me your wonderful and wonderful time since the morning. And thank you all the people of Arunachal.